Hi guys, today on Divas Can Cook, we are cooking up some vegetarian southern collard greens. You will not even miss the meat because these greens are so flavorful. So let's get started. All right, we're gonna start by making a really good and savory broth to simmer our collard greens in. I have some fresh onions here, that's just fresh yellow onions. I have some um, fresh minced garlic. Okay, and next we're gonna add in, I have some applewood smoked salt. You can use hickory smoked salt, any kind of smoked salt that you want. The applewood kinda has a nice little bacon um, taste to it, so I like that. And we're also gonna use some of this vegetable stock for flavor. Now I'm just gonna add in a little bit of oil to my deep skillet here. Gonna heat it up to medium. And then we're gonna add our onions in there. And I'm gonna saute them just for a little bit, just until they're nice and fragrant, okay? And then I'm gonna add in our garlic, okay? And then cook that for about mm, maybe two minutes or so. And your kitchen will smell so good. Oh, I love garlic and onions. The smell is just amazing. All right, now we're just gonna add in our vegetable broth, okay? Normally I would use chicken broth, but since this is a vegan vegetarian version, we're gonna use vegetable broth. And then we're gonna add in some of that applewood smoked sea salt. I ordered this online, but you can get it from like Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, things like that you know, the smoke's off. I'm just gonna stir this up, bring that to a nice little simmer. And I almost forgot the red pepper flakes. Gotta have the red pepper flakes to add that little zing to them. Mm. I went ahead and just put a few little sprinkles in there and you can put as much as you want. And you guys, you can find this recipe with all the measurements on my blog, like always, okay? So go on over there and check that out. Okay, I'm gonna stir in that red pepper a little bit, get everything nice and combined. And now while this is waiting to simmer, I have my collard greens right here. I got the kind that was already cut up and triple washed, but um, I went ahead and washed them again. You should always go ahead and wash them again, even if it says it's triple washed, because you just never know, honey. Somebody could be having a bad day, didn't wash the greens good, and mm -mm, I can't be having no dirty, gritty greens because the greens are filthy. So go ahead and wash them off. And now my um, vegetable broth is boiling or simmering. You want to simmer. You can go ahead and throw in those collard greens. Just go ahead and pile them right on in there. And as they cook, they'll begin to, um, you know, wilt down a little bit. So they may be coming out of the pot like that a little bit. That is totally okay. Just go ahead and pile them on in there. Just like that. Wonderful. And you guys, when you're enjoying this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment. I love reading your comments and I appreciate it so much. All right. Now go ahead and place that top on there. If the top doesn't fit, it's okay. Like when in a few minutes, it'll fit because, you know, they'll wilt down and stuff. All right. So I'm going to cook this for about an hour. Here's how it looks at 30 minutes. Some people like it like this, but not me. I don't like it like this. It, it needs to cook some more. I don't like the crunchy, bright green collard greens. It's not for me. So I went ahead and cooked them for another, um, I cooked it for an hour, then did like another 15 minutes, and here's how they look. This is how I like mine to look. So I'm going to add in a little bit of black pepper. Then we're going to add in a little bit of um, sea salt. And then I'm going to add in a few dashes of hot sauce, just like that. Add lots of flavor to it, because you know, you don't have that meat to give it that flavor, that smoky flavor. So that applewood smoked salt and that hot sauce, it just makes it taste so good. Because I like my greens to be like kind of smoky, a little bit salty and kind of vinegary. Mm -mm. These greens were off the chain. And there's the favorite part. I love this part, the juice that comes with it. Oh my gosh, yes. But that's it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. You can get it at thewisdomcook.com. Bye.